Hey gang, old Bit Collector here. Been a while since I made a video, so I thought I would put together something about the Pocket Mini Computer. The uh, That's what you're looking at right here is a fully loaded Pocket Mini Computer, my development platform. Let me take you on a little tour of what you're looking at. Of course, the green card that you see plugged into the top is the uh, micro SD adapter from Parallax that uh, can plug right in. There is VGA PS2 keyboard or mouse. Right and left channel audio connectors coming off the back side. On the right, the gray cable you see is could be USB power. Right now it's powered off of my computer. And then the little chip that you see just above that gray cable is a uh, SRAM. That's the a 32K extended memory for the Pocket Mini computer that's automatically detected if it's plugged in. And then over here, on the left, this upright card with the RCA cable coming off it is a composite uh, TV video out. That's a really easy board to build. Uh, your Pocket Mini computer has pins, propeller pins, 12, 13, and 14, uh, coming off that side as an, as an experimenter's jack. And so that's an easy build, and there's instructions up on Instructables on how to put it together. So this is my development workstation here. Sorry in advance about the mess. It's a little crowded on my desk. But this is the boot screen, the VGA boot screen of the Pocket Mini computer. And it's uh, detected, as you see, the third line, the extended memory. And uh, I can, uh, I've got a little operating system running here. As I try to steady the camera here with one hand and type with the other, let's uh, run some programs here. I'm going to go ahead and drop the lights up above so that you can see the screen hopefully a little better. And there's a directory of the files on my Pocket Mini computer. So I can uh, load and run, obviously, basic programs. And I'm going to do that here. There we go. That's loading a little basic program off the SD card. And I'm going to run it. And this is the Hearts demo. It just uh, redefines some character graphics and draws hearts all over the screen at random. So let me stop that here. There we go, and uh, let's list our little program out. There it is, and if you see the character redefinition command, some random statements, and some positioning statements up on the screen. So the Pocket Mini computer is capable of running basic programs, and there's 95 basic commands uh, that encompass everything from serial communication to uh, poke and peek, character redefinition. There's some line drawing commands in here, plot commands. Uh, so it's a fairly well-rounded basic, along with, of course, some filing commands. Um, one of the filing commands that is available to you is the ability to run or be run binary non-basic programs and so I'm gonna just run one of the programs here that's on my SD card of course it's got a dot bin extension here and there we go this is the uh, this is a SID player play SID DMP files or SID dump files. Let's see if we can get one of these to work here. And there's the uh, SID Mr. Marvelous. Also, theme song from the uh, Prototypers podcast. If you listen to our show. Now, wonderful example of the SID COG program for the Parallax Propeller. Oh, enough of that. Let's just try another one here. Some Commodore fans will recognize this. This is the theme from the game Mule. Well, that's the SID player. Let's go ahead and reset the pocket computer here. If I can do it with one hand.
There we go, and we're back to basic here. Um, recently, with the addition of the composite video card, the little three resistor card to create TV out on the pocket computer, there were some requests to produce a version of BASIC that would work on a composite monitor. And so I've done just that, and uh, on my little SD card here I've got a, another binary. That's the TV BASIC. This could have been written into the EEPROM easily enough, uh, but I went ahead and just put it in as another binary so I could load to it from one. Well, I've typed something wrong. Oh, I forgot the extension here. So just like the old BASIC and DOS days, if you forget to type in a complete file name, it just doesn't work. Okay, the VGA monitor has gone off, and over here I've got my old Amiga composite screen. Well, let's back it up just a little bit here, and we're running the same version of BASIC over here. Um, of course, the, the color is a little bit more limited in this video driver. But there's the directory listing of our SD card. And uh, let's just load the first demo that I did, the BASIC demo, which is the hearts file. And this is the same hearts demo actually I think it's called animate let's load it by its proper name it's loading the basic program again off of the SD and run this program and you remember the hearts that we loaded this is the same program now this is scrolling a little bit because the uh, lines per page that it's set for is actually set for the VGA monitor, which has uh, 50 lines per page, where this one has 40. So when it hits anything above 40, it tends to want to scroll the screen a little bit. Would be easy enough just to uh, stop the program, type list, and make some minor adjustments to it, but I'm going to leave it alone. You can see that a lot of the basic code is compatible from the VGA version of the pocket computer immediately over to the TV version. And if I type a list, there's that same basic program that we were using before. So I'm going to do another directory here. And I've also got uh, additional binaries on here. Um, you saw the SID player binary that I loaded over on the VGA side just a few moments ago. But I've also got some other binary files here uh, that take advantage of the TV ability here. And so I'm going to load up one of those, and I can show you how this works. Let's see here. I take it back. It doesn't look like I have very many of the binaries for television on my SD card yet. So I'm just going to go ahead and open over on the PC. Remember I'm connected to the computer and so it's pretty easy for me to uh, to jump into the programming tool over on my desktop and load something up here. So what's neat about having the TV connector for your pocket mini computer is that there are a lot of really great games and programs that have been written by various people over the last few years that um, that you can load on your computer and enjoy and they work just fine here gotta find the right folder here here we go I'm loading a very large program here And I'm going to send that from the PC over to the pocket mini computer uh, since I don't have the .bin file on the SD card yet. And it's compiling. And there it goes. The screen's going off while the pocket mini computer accepts the data into RAM. And here's Game of Boulder Dash. Again, taking advantage of the TV out, 
and uh, the, the Pocket Mini Computer has a Wii controller plug on it. Now BASIC, uh, the code for BASIC, only allows the use of a nunchuck controller. So uh, It's basically a memory limitation that prevented us from doing more with that. But other outside binary programs naturally can take advantage of the extended driver support. And uh, I can play this with my Wii, con Wii Classic controller. Let's see if I can get a game started here. And this is Boulder Dash, like you may remember it. And for some reason I wound up in the wrong mode here. So enough of that. Let's go ahead and reset this thing. And uh, bring it back over on the VGA screen. When it loads up from the EEPROM, it's going to come back to its default monitor. There it is. So, a few minutes ago I had the situation where um, I didn't have a binary file that I wanted to use on my Pocket Mini computer. Now, I could pull that tiny S micro SD card out, put it in a reader, uh, bring it over to the computer that I'm connected up to, and uh, load that program uh, over, copy it to the, to the disk, take the disk out, put it back in the Pocket Mini computer, um, seen some complaints on the forums, and it's really, I have the same complaint. Those stupid cards are the size of a thumbnail. They're easy to lose. I've already managed to misplace one on my desk that dropped somewhere off into Never Never Land. And so instead of monkeying with the card, we've got some utilities that are being written. Um, right now, some Xmodem utilities to transfer files from your PC directly to your pocket mini computer. And uh, there's a couple people who have stepped up and have written Xmodem transfer utilities. I'm going to show you a very basic one, but there's another one that uh, is in the works. It's being debugged and will do uh, automated transfers from the pocket mini computer side, which is kind of cool. So over here on my PC, I've got the little program running. This is the Xmodem transfer utility, and I've got it set up to transfer that boulder dash or b dash dot bin over to our pocket mini computer. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the command to load the xmodem receive utility. So we're going to use the brun command again. xmodem.bin r for receive type b dash dot bin which is the name we'd like to save it as over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the enter key and at the same time, I'm going to jump over and hit the OK button on the PC. And it's transferring the binary file from the PC over to the Pocket Mini computer using Xmodem. Xmodem is kind of slow, but you know we're only moving 32K of data here, so it's pretty easy to do. Now if I click Close Port on the PC, the Pocket Mini computer resets. And now I should have, if I type DIR, I should have a new file in my list which is the binary b dash dot bin there it is in the third column and now if we just type brun space b dash dot bin the vga screen has gone off we've jumped over to the color um, output on the pocket mini computer the little card that we built and there's boulder dash again ready to play so this has been a little tour of just a couple of the things that you can do with the Pocket Mini Computer. It's a, uh, a lot of fun to write this project, a lot of fun to play with it. Uh, there's all kinds of applications, new ideas, uh, some things I can't tell you about that are in the works uh, as far as graphics, programming, and enhancements are concerned. Uh, we're only a couple months into the project, but uh, definitely invite you to come over to the forums and check it out. Uh, and then build your own pocket mini computer either from scratch or grab a kit from propellerpower.com Hey, this has been Jeff old bit collector. Sorry about the messy desk the shaky camera work Hopefully you've got a good glimpse into the pocket mini computer project and we'll see you online